Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I gotta be honest with you guys, I love Stanley brand products. I've been using them since I was a kid and there's something nostalgic about the way they look, the way they feel, even the way that their color schemes are. This will be the third coffee making product that I review from Stanley. So let's see if I like it as much as the other two. Today we'll look at the Stanley Camp Percolator with a cool handle grip. Thanks for watching guys. This is the percolator itself. I've already got water in it, so I'm not gonna flip it around, but it's got a nice little top. You can see here's the percolator top. It's made out of very heavy gauge stainless steel. Dimensions are 8.1 by 4.6 by 8.5, and it does weigh a whole 1.3 pounds. It'll brew six cups of coffee and is fully dishwasher safe, as long as you take this handle off. Speaking of that handle, this is one of the cool things about it. It's the cool handle. This is a silicone grip, so you can grab it and easily uh, move it around when it's hot. Key is, you can just take it right off when, when you have it over the flame so that it doesn't get marred up. So you percolate your coffee without it. Once you're ready to pick it up, just flip this around it and you can easily and safely move it. Now, of course, this is the container. Here's the percolator part itself, like any other percolator. Take the top off here, put your coffee inside. Now, whenever you do percolated coffee, you really wanna have good control of your flame. We're gonna check out a brand new stove that I got recently and so far I am absolutely loving it. It's got very good flame control. So let's make some coffee. It's about half full, so I'm gonna use half of the coffee full. take a while because it's windy but we got all the time in the world all right this ought to help quite a bit yeah that'll help quite a bit now we're just watching for it to start percolating let's move the camera up there all right you can see it's starting to percolate so you want to turn it down a little bit just to where you can keep it percolating but not boiling over. Let's see how that works. I'll tell you, that windscreen made a huge difference. Not surprising. If you can't control the heat real well, what will happen, and it happened the first time that I used this particular product, um, it just boiled over and you end up with lots of coffee grounds in your coffee, which is no good. This looks pretty good. You can actually turn it down even a little bit more. This windscreen's wanting to blow away here, but I'm doing my best. You already can see it starting to turn coffee colored. Basically, you percolate it until you are happy with the color. I usually will percolate for about 10 minutes, and that works for me. This is where having a stove like this that you can really control helps because you can just adjust it to where it's just percolating, which is exactly what you want. I'm gonna let this finish percolating. We'll see what kind of coffee we get. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna have it a little bit milder today. Perfect cup of coffee. Hmm. Good stuff. So do I like this product? Absolutely, I like this product. It is another winner in my book from Stanley. Stanley's motto is built for life, and you can definitely see it 
in this particular product. It is solidly built and there is no reason to think that anything would fail on it unless you just straight up abuse it. Now initially when I saw that they advertised you could use this over an open flame, I was a little bit skeptical because I'm sitting here looking at this silicone handle and I thought, it's not gonna work. But it's really pretty ingenious, the fact that you can take it on, take it off, so when you take it off, you can put it right over an open flame. You can put it on a campfire if you want. It's very hard to do percolated coffee on a campfire, but you could do it if you wanted to. It would definitely be way too easy to burn off a rubberized or silicone handle if it didn't come off. The only downside is that it's not insulated, so it's not gonna keep your coffee warm for a long time. I mean, it's no big deal. Usually if you're making this volume of coffee, it's for several people and it gets drank pretty quickly. Other than that, the product works exactly as advertised and it's pretty much worth the money. I think it's a very reasonable price. You pay a bit more sometimes for the Stanley name, but I think it's worth it. If you've ever owned Stanley products, I think you see that they're well-made and they are quality. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on coffee and coffee related products. If you want to check out the other Stanley Coffee products, check a link down below. I'll leave it there for you guys to check out that playlist. And also at the end of this video, you'll be able to click on that playlist in the end tiles. Do me a quick favor, guys. If you like the video and you found this because you're wanting to check out this Stanley product, hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. We love checking out coffee products, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're new to the channel, Check out the page, I'm sure you'll find other videos. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you wanna make sure that you know when I release new videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. It is absolutely beautiful here in Arkansas. It's about 60, 62 degrees, a little breezy, but absolutely perfect, and I am enjoying my time. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Stanley Camp Percolator. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.